Here we have another series circuit similar to the first one, but this one has two different resistors, not of the same value. We have a 5 ohm resistor and a 7 ohm resistor connected in series, connected to a power supply which puts out 24 volts DC. And we'd like to find the total resistance, the current total or the current through the power supply, the current through each of the resistors R1 and R2 as well as the voltage across resistor 1 and the voltage across resistor 2, the total power of the entire circuit as well as the power through resistor 1 and the power through resistor 2. So first of all, a, a series circuit, the resistance in a series circuit is simply the sum of the individual resistances and we would write that as well, RT equals R1 plus R2 and in this case then we have uh, 5 ohms plus 12 ohms and that gives us tw I mean 5 ohms plus 7 ohms that gives us 12 ohms 5 ohms plus 7 ohms is 12 ohms and then we have to find the total current well Ohm's law says that the uh, total current is equal to if we if we take our um, little circle here and a memory aid and we put it over the top of I that reminds us that current is equal to voltage divided by resistance and so the current total then would be the total voltage in other words the power supply voltage divided by the total resistance RT and we of course previously calculated that that uh, RT is equal to to a total of 12 ohms so our current total then would be 24 volts divided by 12 ohms or 2 amperes. Now this is a series circuit and so in a series circuit the current is the same everywhere and we could try to calculate the uh, current flowing through each individual resistor by using Ohm's law. In that case the formula for current of R1 would be the voltage across R1 divided by the resistance of R1 but we don't know at this point what the voltage across R1 is. It's not 24 volts. Remember in a series circuit you have voltage drops. There's going to be a voltage drop across R1 and a voltage drop across R2. But we really don't need to worry about that because we know that the current is the same. So we simply know that the fact that it's a series circuit, the current must be the same everywhere. We really don't need to calculate the current even if we could. So we know that the, the current for uh, resistor 1 is 2 amps and the current for resistor 2 is also 2 amps. We don't need to recalculate that, thankfully. In this case, otherwise uh, we might have a little problem there. We'd be a little bit stuck, wouldn't we? So, next thing we need to do here is uh, go ahead and <laughs> made a little mess of my chart there. Go ahead and uh, calculate the voltages here. Now, again, what do we mean by voltages across a resistor? If I had a voltmeter, so let me get a voltmeter and uh, bring it here. Here's a voltmeter. This, this symbol represents a voltmeter. And then we were to connect the uh, voltmeter. We can use a red wire to represent the positive connection, which would be on this side here and we can use a black wire for our negative connection would connect up like that now that would be uh, the way we would connect up a voltmeter to measure the voltage across R1 that voltage we would measure there would not be 24 volts it would be less than that and again Ohm's law uh, comes to our rescue here Ohm's law says if we go to the, our little memory aid here, that the voltage across something, voltage, is equal to the current 
through that something multiplied by the resistance of that something. And um, what is that current and that resistance? Well, we already know the currents are 2 amps through each of those, and we know the resistance of each of those resistors. So, the uh, therefore the voltage the voltage of uh, resistor 1 would be the current through resistor 1 which we call IR1 multiplied by the resistance of R1 in this case the current through resistor 1 is 2 amperes and the resistance of R1 is 5 ohms so that gives us a voltage of 10 volts so that tells us that the voltmeter there across R1 would read 10 volts we wouldn't have we could we would be able to measure that with our multimeter or so if we did one or two that would be the voltage that we would measure there across that particular set of con connections and then now we have the other uh, resistor resistor number two and we can find the voltage for it as well and the, what we mean by that again is again we mean that we can we'd have another voltmeter like for example that and again we would connect it with wires we'd use the positive side would be connected to the side closest to the positive end of the power supply and the negative side of the voltmeter would connect to the negative end or the end negative closest to the negative side of the power supply and that would give us our voltage across resistor number two. Again, uh, the formula that we would use for this would be, again, according to Ohm's law, uh, the formula would be that the current, it would be the current multiplied by the resistance. And in this case, it would be the current through R2 multiplied by the resistance of R2, which is 2 amps of current multiplied by 7 ohms gives us 14 volts. So the the current flowing through, I'm sorry, the voltage across resistor 2 would be 14 volts. 14 volts. And notice then if we take 10 volts and 14 volts, add them together, and that gives us 24 volts. 24 volts total resistance there for the two of them. Okay. You know, that looks like an 8 there, I'll fix that so it doesn't look like an 8. <laughs> that's, a, that's meant to be a, uh, a 10. The dot in the middle there. There we go. 10. Okay, 10, 10 volts. Now, uh, what else do we have left? Well, we have the power. Power total, uh, this time again we're going to use our memory aid. And our memory aid, uh, the little power P equals I times E or current times voltage P equals I times E we can use that for total power and for that then we would use for our current we would use total current or IT and for our voltage we would use total voltage or the voltage of the power supply so that would be 2 amps times 24 volts or 48 watts. So this entire circuit, including the power supply and both resistors, would use 48 watts of power. Now, total power is total power is all of the individual powers added up. We could say that uh, total power is uh, power total is power of R1 plus power of R2 plus power of R3 or how many ever we have. We only have two so in this case we would just uh, we'd just be talking about the power of R1 plus the power of R2. We, we went ahead and calculated first the total power because we do know the total current and we do know the, the voltage for the power supply and so we can do that. It's just like any electrical appliance you can take the individual parts but to, to calculate then the individual powers uh, we can use that same formula for each one individually.
and I'll just do both these at once here, they're done the same way. We would have, and it looks like I need to make myself a little room here, we'll do that, oops, there we go. So we have a uh, total power uh, for R1 would be the current through R1 multiplied by the voltage across R1 so that would be 2 2 amperes multiplied by 10 volts gives us 20 watts so the resistor number 1's power would be 20 watts and the same thing for power of resistor number 2 we would take the current flowing through resistor number 2 multiply it by the voltage across resistor number 2 and that would give us 28 watts so we have 20 watts across resistor 1 or I should say dissipated by resistor 1 it's not really you don't say across because it's just coming from it it's heat is what it really is it really represents heat and the heat that's coming from resistor number 2 would be 28 watts so we have 10 volts across resistor 1 we have a current flowing through it of 2 amperes and we have a power out, output of 20 watts in, in terms of heat so there we have solved all of the values that were in our table for for that particular circuit we have a complete uh, analysis of that circuit. There's really nothing else we could analyze uh, in that. We have all the all the currents, all the voltages, all the powers, all the resistances in that circuit.